Hey everyone, uh, yeah, you know who I am, and this is my channel, but uh, I have a special <laughs> guest here today, and uh, we're gonna ask, I mean, we're gonna answer questions uh, about our lives and stuff, so, um, and we have a person asking us questions on the side, and she shall not be seen, but yeah, we are gonna have a great time here. And uh, I'd like to introduce you to my friend, Axton here. Hi, I'm Axton. I'm Ray's great friend. We've been friends for like... How long uh, has it been? High school. Since high school, we were like 16 years old. Yeah, so, very long time. Very long time, yeah. yeah I came down to see him for his birthday this weekend, yeah. since I'm from Texas. Yep, and uh, I've been down to Texas a few times. Uh, it's a beautiful state. Um, with aggressive drivers, but um, it is very clean there, and I enjoy all the Asian shops, which oh, I yeah. wish could transport over here. But mm -hmm. anyways, today we're gonna uh, have a and A session with uh, my friend and I, considered my brother at this point. Mm -hmm. So, um, friend number two, if you like to uh, start this <laughs> session, we're so the ready. The first question is, how did you meet? So we met on Facebook. Um, we were part of this like a um, tomboy, Asian tomboy group on Facebook yeah. back in the day. And um, this is before we transitioned both of us. So it was like quite a coincidence that we turned out to be both trans. Yeah, because um, um, we started out as like tomboys. Uh, like we thought we were just a uh, lesbian, butch, whatever. Uh, but it turned out to be more than that, and we went through similar uh, scenarios with, with life experiences. The, yeah, gender transitioning, um, mm -hmm. uh, being you know Chinese or Asian, right. and our families not understanding us for a long time. I'm still struggling with that. Mm -hmm. But ooh, yesterday though, my <clears throat> just add in my mother did call me finally after five years. Yeah. So uh, he was there for that historical moment. Um, but anyway, yeah. So we did meet online, and uh, it it was kind of risky, I know, but I took a risk because it was during that time when I was like getting into Facebook and when it first came out, I guess. Right, and yeah. you know, you're not supposed to meet people online, but yeah. we did anyways. Yeah, I was yeah. like, whatever, so, um, yeah. Okay, when did you realize you were trans? Uh... Well, growing up for me, we never really had like gender specific things. Um, maybe they tried to like get me to dress up in dresses back then, but I never really cared too much about it. And they let me dress however I wanted. So I think during around high school, I learned about the word transgender and how that was very closely accurate to how I'm feeling at that moment. And because before I was more like gender queer or like just uh, I just didn't care about gender at the time and I think it finally clicked in my head like around high school that I was this way and um, if I just like open doors to like what I can be the potential of like um, being on hormones and like you know transitioning really opened up for me yeah so my experience was uh pretty relatable to that where uh, I for like since I can remember I've uh, felt different from my cousins and my brother um, and going through life I never liked uh, like say dresses and stuff and uh, dolls uh, and then I thought like it was just a phase uh, like everyone else thought it was a phase but uh, after a while I realized that it doesn't it's not going away like I'm still this way and uh, there must be more to it, you know, what, uh, why do I still feel this way and uh, dress this way, uh, even after I've uh, reached high school or, or older. Um, and that's also, I think, when I realized there was a thing called transgender. And, uh, and then we actually started talking about that somewhat, um, but I didn't know what our options were in terms of transitioning, uh, how life would be living as, you know, a trans man. Um, and he also kind of helped me open my eyes to that possibility. Uh, and I think you actually started before me. Mm -hmm. And at one point... I started I was, in 2014. Yeah, he started, um, was it 2014, a few years before me? You said 2017, you started. Oh, oh. oh. 
Oh, well, I started like 2017. So, yeah. So. yeah. Um, and I was at one point kind of jealous of this guy mm. <laughs> and how, how deep his voice got. Um, and I was like, man, I want, I want my voice to be deep. And, you know, it, it came a time when I was talking to him and uh, I had my higher pitch voice and he had his super deep masculine voice. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, you know, I, I really, I want that. <laughs> and at, at the time where, um, where I was in my life, uh, I wasn't able to go on that journey yet. Okay, next question. Was your family supportive? I think in the beginning, um, my my parents were not supportive whatsoever. My mom did come around after two years. She was grieving who I was back then, but she finally came around. She's now my number one supporter. But my dad, it's been a while. It's taken him a, at least a decade for him to finally accept me. And he is seems okay now. Um, last time I talked to him, like you know, he calls me his son, and like you know, he talk he uh, uses the right pronouns and calls me by my name now. So in the beginning, it was really hard though. Yeah, um, I think my parents at this point are also gonna take like a decade. Uh, my dad is still struggling and doesn't talk to me. My mom recently just called me. Uh, but before that, we were just texting back and forth, uh, messaging each other. So she uh, can't really accept the physical changes so much right now. Mm -hmm. um, but I think she is definitely coming around and uh, making progress with that. How do you make a long distance friendship work? Mm, Communication. <laughs> yeah, uh, try to talk to each other, uh, if not every day, just now once every few uh, days. Be sure to be honest yeah. and like, you know, respect boundaries and, yeah. um, you know, try to be there for them as much as you can mm -hmm. and like, you know. Yeah. I mean, like, I would appreciate like uh, a text or a call, you know, once in a while um, to like show that you care and you're just checking, checking up on him or me and uh, just really big on communication, uh, trust especially yeah. um, and just how we feel um, and just knowing that we're here for each other no matter what right mm -hmm. how is it being in person with one another it feels like we've never been apart sort of thing it feels like normal so like when I first saw him I'm like oh hey you know like it's normal yeah, but like yeah. really it's not and I haven't seen this guy literally in like four years right. since yeah. last time I came yeah. uh, she, he came over to see me yeah. Um, but yeah it definitely uh, is it's exciting um, but also it feels like Home. it's meant to be in a way mm -hmm. like it this is it just feels natural to me that right. we're here mm -hmm. and uh, if we hang out like oh man like this is my buddy, you know? Like we should be hanging out and I, I wish we could do it more often. Right. What is the best thing about your friendship? Hmm. Uh, just the fact that like we're both, we seem both really open to new possibilities together. Uh, and the fact that we don't really judge each other uh, right. based on our interests and uh, things we like or dislike and we're very understanding of mm -hmm. our differences as well. And I like that we have similar backgrounds since we're yeah. both um, Chinese-American yeah. and we've had very similar experiences. Mm -hmm. um, we enjoy a lot of different uh, common interests like video games, music, um, yeah, just, yeah. Food. <laughs> Food. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, what yeah. is your best memory together? Hmm. There's a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> the one that's really coming up for me right now is uh, when he came over to my house the first time and he was sleeping in my bed and I just like stacked a bunch of like uh, stuffed animals, <laughs> stuffed animals all around him, took a yeah. picture of it, uh, all the stuffed animals around him, and yeah. then I took another picture when they were like even closer to his face. Yeah, and when I he woke know. up, he was just like, wow. I was, yeah. so, I was so confused. <laughs> I was like, what is, this, what is going on? <laughs> but it was cute. Uh, yeah, that was enjoyable. And for me, I, I think I was... Um, it was when he cooked 
salmon turkey. Oh yeah, I made uh, him like teriyaki. specialty teriyaki salmon. Yeah, and yeah. like he gave me a plate of that and rice, and uh, it's, it was at that point it's been a while since someone else like really cooked a homemade meal for me that was really good and still good. I miss that so much, <laughs> and um, just mm -hmm. like sitting there and eating together, like it was really heartfelt and like a brotherly moment, like you know, family. So. Uh, true, I'll, true. I'll never Another I'll never moment was yeah. when he got top surgery and he came over to my parents' house and I took care of him for that yeah. um, two weeks or something. Yeah, then I had that complication where it bled oh. and then I was in his bathtub and it was like all bloody. bloody. Yeah. <laughs> I was at work too, so yeah. my friend who was taking care of him, he, she was just like, oh yeah, uh, Ray's in the bathtub. He's and bleeding. it's he's bleeding yeah. and I'm like, oh, should I be concerned? Because I was at work and she was like, no, it's just a, it's a like bloody bath, a blood bath. It's a blood bath. <laughs> it's just a blood bath. <laughs> He's just staying there. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> just bring him tacos. And like, okay. <laughs> just bring him tacos. It'll be fine. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, he just opened the door and he's like, with the bag of tacos. And you're like, oh, are you hungry? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Poor Ray. Yeah. <laughs> uh, tough times. But yeah. And our final question is, what things would you like to do together in the future? Travel more. Yeah, I like that. Uh, travel more, experience more of life together, um, even like struggle. Oh, he's yeah. getting his first tattoo. Uh -huh. Next time I come, and, and I've been convincing him for years, yeah. years, because yeah. yeah. I have so many tattoos, yeah. but yeah. Um, he's scared of nails, but Neil I've phobia. been trying to convince him for so long, and yeah. he said yes, so. I can, no, no take backs, right? No take backs. Okay. Okay. We're doing I'm it. I'm locked in. You're locked right in. Right on this arm. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. The, he's getting a little rooster like this. Yeah, chibi rooster. This small. <laughs> and like, it's going to be great. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. So, I guess that was the last question of the day. And um, uh, thank you, Axton, for being in this video. Thank I know you. how hard it was for yeah. you, but I appreciate it. It was fun. It was I, fun. Yeah. yeah. And I, I love him a lot. And, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video too. See ya! Bye! Bye.